Got it. Oh my gosh, he come up and hit it right by the bank. Big one. What is up, Kraken Bass Clan? Doing something, going old school, just doing some shore fishing today. I'm out at Pine View Reservoir. I've only been here one other time. I don't really know what to expect, but uh, you're gonna learn some stuff today to be able to do better when you're shore fishing. Stay tuned, stay stoked, and let's get cracking bass. Bye. Shore fishing Pine View Reservoir. Here we go. Water is so low that it makes shore fishing way easy. What you want to look for is these chunk rock banks. It's early in the morning. I'm going to try throwing a spook. Along the edge, I kind of cast parallel. Something I can just walk the banks with and cover a lot of water. Key to shore fishing is you just move all the time. You just keep walking. Most shore fishermen just stay in one spot, but I saw how far I casted. I walked down to that spot looking for these chunk rocks. Kind of winds blowing up against here. Water's falling, so the bass are probably out deeper, not as shallow. Uh, I got a nice craw pattern bait that I can throw too. Kind of late spring, early summer. Oh, there he is! Goal! He missed it. Probably a three pounder. Throw in there with this wacky worm. Oh my gosh, that didn't take long. He was right up against the bank. Oh my gosh, that was exciting. Oh, he was like four feet from the bank. Who knows, he could have come up from deep to grab it though. All right, let's see if we can get another spook shot. That was exciting. Make a cast, keep walking. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Go, another real nice one. I thought he had it. Two, at least we know where they're at. Oh, man. Spook, two bites. Missed them both. All right, back at it. Time my little finesse swim bait on. Sun's way high now. Let's see if I can get one. How 
How's the battle going, boys? Why are there so many dead crappie floating around? There are so many dead ones. I was fishing the other bank the other night and I probably saw like 30 dead crappie just laying around the blank. Uh-uh. There was like little summer kills right when that algae bloom came up. Lottie, off. There was an algae bloom and then a bunch of fish died off. I don't know if, if it some... just got too hot too fast and then the shallow fish died or something. So weird. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Well, good luck, guys. You're welcome. We'll see you later. Got him. Oh my gosh, he come up and hit it right by the bank. Big one on the swim bait. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. I saw him come up and hit it on the bank. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, there's a two and a half pounder. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Bank fishing, baby. He come up and just smack that sucker. Wow. So cool. So cool. Make sure to get you a pair of cracking bass pliers. I watched him follow it up and eat it. Oh my gosh, that was sweet. Oh man. God, what a pretty fish. I gotta get a photo of myself. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Sweet. Bye bye, buddy. God, he was a hammer. This is what we're talking about. Woohoo! I cannot believe that. He just followed that right up. Oh, that's exciting. There's one. Yes. Oh man. Oh, it's another nice smallmouth. Oh man. Oh yeah, a real good one. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh god, look at this one. Toad, dude. Toad. Oh, this is a three and a half pounder. Oh my gosh. Look at this sucker. Wow. Yeah. Woo Beach fishing, baby. Woo. Yeah. Let's clean you off, sucker. Oh, wow. That is a nice. Look how wide his tail is. He was clear out at the end of my cast. Gee. What a pretty fish. Oh my gosh. He's probably two, two and a half pounds. Gall, he's as, he's as long as my forearm. Holy cow. What a pretty bass. 
There you go. Woo! <laughs> oh! Golly, come out of the water. That was exciting. Got my rod off. Sandy. I was so excited. Woo! He destroyed it. I hammered that bait. God, that was a nice one. This waves are coming in here like crazy, and he was just cruising out there waiting for stuff to come to him. Flat, calm day, but the boats on this lake sure stir this sucker up. Wow, that was actually really fun. I had a blast shore fishing today. There's so many boats on the water, it's churning it up. It's a Saturday morning, but you know, color is key. You gotta know what color to use. Go get a lure color selection chart. It's free, it'll help you out. You know, I don't know if you know, but I have a bass fishing online course. I put a hundred students through it, and I'm getting messages every week now of people that are using the stuff in my course, helping them. It's the foundational things that will transform your bass fishing. But bottom line today, shore fishing, I had three blow ups on the spook and I missed all three of them. And then I caught two on a swim bait and before I started filming, I caught one on a craw. I'm gonna walk through the baits real quick in case you missed them. That's that Kai Tech four inch AU with that round ball head, really good. And then one of my favorite spooks is this evergreen shower blows. It's all tangled up right here. Takes it great. Nice walking bait, walks real easy. I use this all the time for bigger, small mouth, clear water, colors baby bass. So anyway, those were the two that worked the best. And as the sun gets out, you know, they were going deeper. But early in the morning, they were hitting that top water bite. It lasted for about an hour. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys had fun with that. And uh, sure appreciate you. Like, subscribe, I got more stuff to come. Stay stoked. Wow.